to this point, I haven't said anything very much about the patterning in double knitting. Uh, this is not really intended to be a double knitting class as such, but uh, since we've got a long straight bit ahead of us, we might as well take a look at it. This is the line that's running up the side of the mitten. And just so we, we didn't actually look inside before, but there's the inside of that lovely gusset. And I'm going to actually move that on to that full needle. So I'm just matching this pair. And maybe I'll take a couple more. Now, we've just completed the last little cross here. Um, so there's a single, three and one. And that's as far out as the pattern goes. So the next cross I have to duplicate or copy is this one. So I need to work until I get to this pair here before I start my new cross pattern. I really just read the knitting, especially in a simple design like this, when, which is why geometrics are much easier than um, floral patterns or curling shapes. So if you're new to double knitting, stick to geometrics. And you have to look much harder at the needle to see what's going on because the stitches from the back sort of get in the way and uh, distort, the, distort the view. I'm just keeping an eye as to when I'm vertically above the point stitch of that previous cross. So now I need to do one pair reversed. And then match for three pairs. So on the chart, we had just completed that plain row across the top of these crosses and that this shows as five pairs which match the previous five pairs, one pair which is reversed, three pairs that match, one pair that's reversed and so on. Now that I'm on the back of the mitten hand I can see where I am on my mitten by counting. So there's the pointy stitch at the side of that motif and I'm one, two, three, four rows above it. So I've completed those four. So looking at the pointy stitch, one, two, three, four rows, those have all been done. So in this row, I am going to work until one pair before the last color change. So the color change before was here I'm going to change one pair sooner. Now, at this point in the mitten, I really should think about starting to write the pattern, but I don't actually feel ready yet. I will feel more comfortable, um, perhaps once I've started my decreases for the tip of the mitten. I have to, I have to reach a certain point before I'm ready to start writing and the knitting's the easy bit. So there were my colour change and on the previous row I had two green stitches side by side so that, that's those. So if I now do four pairs with the green in front then I'm on track. So one pair reversed two pairs matching, one pair reversed, and off I go. So I think it's time that I started to go and think about writing the pattern. I noticed whilst editing that, having carefully shown you how to count rows in your pattern, that the knitting was missing from the picture. So here we go. So here's a point stitch 
and we have worked one, two, three, four, five, six rows since the last point stitch. So you just refer to the chart and you can see exactly where you are. I usually use a knitting needle and put it in the heart of each stitch to make sure I don't miss any out. And you do count the one that's on the needle.